Hello guys and welcome back to Wheels Maniac and today we are having the most awaited car of the Indian car market which is the Mahindra XCV 700 finally with us and we are in this beautiful location which is the Shivnath Mahindra Raipur and this showroom is situated on Vidhan Sabha Road Moa and for more details of the showroom you can head to the description of the video but for more details of the car just remain with us till the end of the video. Hello guys, so let's begin with the vlog of the XCV 700 and this is the new Mahindra logo but I am a bit disappointed with the key but let's not talk about that, let's get to the car right away and firstly we will check out the engine bay of the car that how it has been laid out and which engines are in offer. So it's extremely heavy, so this is the 2 litre petrol variant which is omitted to a talk converter 6 speed torque converter gearbox and it's a 2 liter inline 4 turbo petrol motor which produces 200 horsepower and it's quite a powerful motor and the engine bay is quite neatly laid out a typical Mahindra affair so let's close the hood and from the front you will look the design of the car looks just phenomenal indeed like these lights over here it gets dynamic swipe indicator let me show you how they work so these are the DRLs firstly so like the DRS blink twice and these are the main headlights of the car so overall the lights of car phenomenal these are all LED of course and these are the fog lamp of the car which are also LED and this is the all new Mahindra logo it also gets a camera over here and of course gloss black treatment some silver treatment on it and let me show you some nice things like this proper functional vents over here so Mahindra has done a great job in terms of designing of this car yeah they took quite a long time to do it but yeah the product came out phenomenally well and over here also it's a green line down there uh, towing hook it doesn't get front parking sensors but yeah, it gets the front parking sensor camera for the 360 degree system and over here are the wheels of the car and these are 235 65 17 or 18 inch yeah these are 235 65 18 inch tires and these also look just phenomenal indeed like yeah the profile is on a bigger size but that's not an issue it will give of course a better ride quality and of course it will save the rims from crashing hard and on the front it also gets disc all wheels get disc and the new Mahindra logo here as well and this is the side profile of the car and the my favorite thing about this car is are these the flush door handles like these are closed right now and as soon as i press the unlock button they open yeah but there's an issue with these handles is that they doesn't get key let's go you have to always open it from the key of the car and the key i'm the, the reason i'm disappointed with the key because you get this flip feature if they would have given it a better way that would be much better because this key also comes in the thar and the Bolero Neo as well and as well as the I guess the XUV 300 so they would have given a new and a better key with this car that would be much good so these are the outside rear view mirror they also gets a camera on it gets a gloss black and white treatment yeah means the car color as well as a gloss black treatment on it and a chrome line runs through the window area and not on the top only on the below and overhead there's a gloss black treatment and two frames i guess they are not functional but yeah that's okay and over here are the arches and this part looks a bit bulky but doesn't look bad at all and these are the rear tail lights of the car of course the tail lights are the rear what am i talking so these are the tail lights of the car and the size of the tail lights is just humongous like see the size of the tail light and it's not an all led because the reverse um, and brake light are in bulb over there so that's a bit of cost cutting and over here it says adrenox which is the ai system or the talking system inside the car 
and rear wiper the mahindra logo which has a sort of different layout because first you mahindra did the previous logo only in this car but when they changed this logo was not fitting on it so they have to do this type of design over here and of course rear parking sensor reflectors down there and where's the exhaust pipe yeah over there twin exhaust which are functional but they are not came out so if they would have designed it in a sportier manner that would look i guess better and what says xuv 700 ax7 which is the top of the line variant and this is the packed with the luxury kit which gives many more feature i will tell you about in the car and of course rear park sensor a spoiler over here shark fin antenna spoiler gets uh, washer fluid and a high mount stop lamp so let's open the boot of the car so this is the boot of the car and with the third row of seats down the space at the boot is huge but with the third row of seats up the space just goes for a toss so like this and it can be reclined too so this is the recline position and same over here First you pull then recline now the space is gone for a toss so you can't keep any luggage right now and we will talk about more of the rear seat when we get inside so let's close the boot it doesn't get electric tailgate i wish it would get electric tailgate so this is the fuel tank of the car it gets a 60 liter fuel tank capacity let me unlock the car now it will open so like this and these are the rear tail lights of the car so let me show you them once again so this is how indicators work and this is the tail lamp so let's get to the rear seat of the car first so let me hop so this is the way to means fold the middle of seat to get back so it's just a one hand task and getting back is not that of an issue so we have came to the <coughs> most rear seat but the space at the back is not that great but yeah it's adequate to make small children sit over here like this so i can sit over here too without much issue yeah the space at back is quite adequate as such because i'm having a good amount of knee room uh, leg room is also sufficient yeah and this has support would be a problem that would be in every seven seater car but yeah that's manageable and over here it gets ac vents and an ac control over here 12 charging socket cup holder and i guess over here also gets a cup holder there's a subwoofer of the car another ac van and um, it's free and over on the top over here it gets the speaker which is the 3d sound surround system by sony and i will tell you more about it and the rear third row of seat also get handled to hold on to yeah so the ads not seen in each and every car <laughs> yeah and personally i am seeing this first time like the third row is also getting handles to hold on to so let's get to the third row of seats means the second row of seats sorry so yeah getting out is a bit of an issue like right now i'm stuck and figuring out how to get out here yeah. yeah that was quite a task so let's get this yeah let me recline like this is the most upright position and let me recline it a bit and this is the most reclined position you can see this is the most upright the most reclined so let's get in so we have came into the car and first thing i am noticing that the window area is just huge like the window lip is quite low and the windows size is quite big the front window is big the windshield gives a phenomenal view and it feels quite airy inside and moreover helps the sunroof which is extremely big in size and they're calling it the biggest in this segment so that's a quite nice thing and it's extremely airy at the back and it also gets a sort of boss mode over here which the tata safari calls it the boss mode but what mahindra calls it is not known till now like from pressing this you can move the front passenger seat front and back to increase more leg room at back for you so that's quite nice and the under thigh support and the leg room knee room is just phenomenal in this car and like the back support also so the rear seat can be a chauffeur driven too yeah this comfort is quite nice and i don't know about the ride quality as i haven't driven it till now and if i came to know or 
make able to make a drive review of this car i will definitely try it for you and over here is a ac vents and a usb c charging socket and some space to keep your stuff which is rubberized from inside so you can keep your mobile phone without any worries and over here is piano black touches some leather touch over here silver door handles and all, all of here is a piano black touch but it's a fingerprint magnet as soon as you touch it the your finger reaches to it so on top of here it gets a light why it's not working i guess the car is off that's the reason it's not working right now and the usb c port is also illuminated at back over here so everything mahindra has done is very pinpoint accurate and they have tested this car in a million plus ways so yeah the issue of flaws will be quite a less in this car so let's open the center armrest so it gets twin cup holders over here but it's a bit issue because the cup you are not able to keep your hand like this in the cup holder slides into the cup holder so they would have given cup holder separately coming out from here that would be nice but yeah it's not bad that so the seats are also pure of leather like these are leathered seats and white leather so it feels quite nice and gets dirty quite fast too so i guess we have talked uh, too much about the center and the third row of seat so let's get to the driver seat right away and see what the fuss is all about so guys we have came to the driver seat of the car and turned on the car so as you can hear the car is quite a bit silent but the petrol engine is a bit vocal on outside but that's not an issue at all because the car is so big in size so no one will, is going to mind it so what is the dashboard of the car which is a uh, hard plastic but over here it's a leather treatment which is in white and looks phenomenal indeed and over here is a silver line ac vents over here and the beautiful instrument cluster as well as the audio system which is a information system and over here are the controls for the air conditioning of the car like it gets dual zone climate control tech in it and we have some buttons like airbag seat belt hazard light this is for the 360 degree parking system and this is for the screen saver i don't know what it is basically and over here gets a usb port two twin usb ports and some space to keep your stuff which is for the mobile phone i guess and this a wireless charging pad and this wireless charging pad is an accessory in the luxury pack and this is the six speed torque converter gearbox a electronic parking brake auto hold feature these are also a part of luxury accessories and this is a dial which is for the volume as well as to browse through the audio system like they have tried to copy a bit from bmw but yeah it didn't go bad it's quite nice only like they have done it in a quite a nice way and also gets light in it and over here twin cup holders and some space down here and uh, it's a cool block box on over here so this is a brand new car so it gets all plastics on it and these are the seats of the car the gets both strings on it and extremely comfortable and extremely supportive and even the driver seat gets electric adjust for it yeah it doesn't get for the head that's just a dummy and i guess they have copied it from somewhere or what like i have seen these controls in the mercedes of course and also gets three of memory functions in it and door handle and these are the switch for the windows this is to child lock the no, this is lock and unlock the car this for the child lock and to close or fold the mirror of the car it is outside mirror and it only gets one touch up and down for the driver's window other all windows are manually done so oh, this is the steering wheel of the car so it gets the all new mahindra logo in it and over here the control for the audio system these controls are for the cruise control system and these two are to browse through the instrument cluster so right now it's drive assist so you can opt for different like navigation vehicle info fuel info drive info alert history settings display layout so it gets three type of display layout and they are not much different so if they would have done in a better way that would be nice so let's get into navigation see how the map looks in it so these are the so right now it's loading yeah so if we press this button we get into a full view but the maps are not working right now i guess the sd card is not inserted in it but this view looks phenomenal like with the full view i really love this view and driving in this view it gives a very nice feel so let's get 
to out of that so these are the control for the headlight of the car of course it gets automatic headlights in it and these are the control for the wipers of course automatic wipers and over here this for the traction control system and this is for the downhill assist this is the headlight leveler and let me show you some more things so let me get back of this so if i turn the steering wheel it also shows the steering direction over here check tire tire direction and it also gets the adas level one features in it and let me show you how that all works so let's get into the driver assist so this is the lane keep assist feature what it does is firstly it warns you that you're getting out of lane and if you keep the lane keep assist on it will take you back into the lane and also show the speed limit and different signboard on the road so you can adjust the and it also is adaptive cruise control what it does is adjust a proper distance from the car in ahead so you can adjust the distance from here like you want two car distance three car distance or a single car distance from the front car and it also gets emergency automatic braking and it will sense if someone comes in front of you and you're not able to brake so it will brake on its own so that's also quite nice and of course it gets a plenty of airbags i guess six or seven airbags in it so let's get to the audio system which is the infotainment system of the car so over here says fun in xuv 7 double then fun with xuv 7 double then android auto and apple carplay uh, so let's get into fun in xuv 7 double so it gets these radio and different tech over here like uh, navigation and different different thing like the basic things over here which is in the fun with fun in sorry so we will get back and we'll get to home so this is, now we'll get to fun with xuv 7 double o so it will show a power and talk meter over here with a g-force meter and a compass too so it's a quite nice thing and also gets a lap timer in it who gives a lap timer in a mass market suv yeah a sort of compact suv man but yeah that's quite nice mahindra is given in it so let's get back let me get into home to get to home yeah it's a bit of a like confusing thing like you also get a home button over here but it doesn't get back to home from here you have to press over there and let's get into settings and check what all we can set oh like audio so let me tell you the audio system like it's a 3d sound surround system by sony so like we will keep into immersive 3d so it will give uh it's showing over here that how it will give sound and it's a phenomenal unit of course it gets the equalizer over here also so let's keep it everything into full and we will check out the audio afterwards and overall this is a quite a nice system it gets apple carplay android auto i guess it also gets wireless apple carplay and android auto for the matter so overall mahindra has done a quite a nice job so this uh dashboard over here it gets um quite a lot of space like down also all the top also gets like quite a lot of space and that's rubberized so you can keep your laptops or ipads over there and this inside rear mirror it doesn't get an automatic dimming inside rear view mirror so that's a miss over here and a sunglass holder and over here are the control for the lights like these are the lights and to turn all of them and this is the ambient lighting i guess no why the rear lights are turned on I don't know why so this is for this ambient lighting which also looks quite nice indeed so and let me close the sunroof right now and this for the sos like you can press and this so the help will come for you and this two of the door lights which when we open the door lights you know and over here is a sun visor but doesn't get a mirror in it and a sun visor over here also but gets a mirror as well as a light which is a white light so let's open the sunroof of the car so let's okay and let me show you more speakers like it gets speaker over here speaker over on the top over there speaker over here which are the tweeters and says sony on them and why this is closed so this is how the sunroof open so this is the sunroof of the car and this is the biggest in the segment yeah just look at the side i guess it, no this is the this is how much it opens so let's close the sunroof and we will keep open the sun blind of the car so if you press it lightly the sun blind opens and if you press it press it fully then the glass also opens 
and it also gets a speaker over here so overall Mahindra has done a just phenomenal job in designing this car and let me show you more thing like it gets a proper dead pedal over there and this is a engine start stop button over here and this is the horn of the car and it's feel quite a more loud when we are inside the showroom so so guys this was today my vlog of the xtv 700 and personally for me mahindra has done a phenomenal job of making this car so guys let's see you guys in another video really soon till then bye bye and have a nice day and don't follow forget to subscribe to the channel hit a like and share with the friends bye bye